A very pleasant day, friends. Welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes, and uh, today probably you're wondering why we are in a residential area. That's because we brought with us uh, this full electric uh, vehicle. It's called the BYD Dolphin, and we just uh, finished uh, uh, charging it. We got about 95% uh, charge and uh, three kilowatts of power in this uh, vehicle so we will be able to travel about 350 uh, kilometers this is of course a hatchback a five door hatch from byd byd is known for their uh, large uh, production of electric vehicles in fact they are the largest manufacturer of uh, electric vehicles in the world this one has an electric motor and it looks good the design is very good we'll tell you more about uh, the byd dolphin full electric later on in the show in the meantime let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our auto news update to auto review and on our youtube channel auto review philippines and uh, no reviews are complete without us doing our usual walk around <laughs> so here is this uh, beautiful hatchback from byd it's called the dolphin if you notice it has grills up here and also below but they don't have the, the usual openings uh, you don't have an engine to cool no wind is uh, going inside and all you have here are uh, the, the batteries and uh, some uh, connectors beautiful headlights you notice this orange accent on the bumper aesthetically it looks beautiful because from there you also have an orange uh, housing for the side mirrors and it looks good there's also a straight almost straight uh, line of orange that goes all the way here it also has uh, orange on the rear so it completes the look of a, uh, a sporty and uh, very functional uh, car and if you see this glass over here behind that are lights and uh, those are LED lights and uh, at night this whole thing turns into red and you are easily noticed by the vehicle or the driver behind you there's also a third brake light uh, over here this is of course the dolphin interesting name because dolphin is one of the most uh, liked uh, amphibious animals in the world over there is a shark spin antenna this car actually has a very good uh, audio entertainment system you have here the, the spoiler before we go to the front uh, let's check what's in here all right you have the charging cord uh, right here it's about uh, uh, four meters long even if you charge at home you don't need an extension cord like uh, what we did and this is also the indicator for the charging you have the power and then if it's charging you you see a blue light uh, over here and then if this one at the bottom lights up it means uh, it's a faulty uh, charging so far we did not encounter it underneath this cover are more tools actually very simple tools now in case you get a puncture or you get a flat tire there's an immediate solution you have a sealant uh, right here two in one tire sealant and inflator you have the early warning device and then you have this clip if uh, in the extreme case you have to change uh, your tire or repair your tire you clip lang yung, yung tornillo and then you pull it out if you have to remove your tire you, you have to insert this there and then pull out there so that's only in the extreme case that uh, you have to repair the tire or re replace it uh, completely so this is this is very important 
and then there's a space left for your umbrella uh, for your bags fortunately you cannot put a whole uh, golf bag in this uh, baggage area you probably have to to fold the rear seat for you to be able to put in a uh, a golf set but that's okay all right just like any car you uh, raise the hood and check what's inside you have a very small uh, motor uh, compartment uh, over here you have the, the brake uh, fluid the, the batteries are underneath the car and you have the connectors uh, over here hindi po umiinit ito very clean and close it just like any hood just have to drop the cover or the hood we charge uh, the dolphin for about uh, five and a half hours uh, and achieved 95% uh, of uh, the, the energy. We're good for 3000 watts or three kilowatts. So we can now unplug this as we now prepare for our drive back to Quezon City. That's about uh, 100 uh, kilometers from here. So we have more than enough charge for this uh, trip and uh, maybe good for another uh, two or three days driving around Metro Manila. So to unplug, it's very easy. And then press and then pull and then put the cover on the outlet and then close. Before you worry about the fuel and now uh, you just have to be uh, good at managing your, your time and uh, make sure that you have enough uh, charge for the lithium batteries. Okay, this is it. <laughs> All right, starting this is very easy. Just push this button. You don't hear any sound of the engine. <laughs> you just hear that bell that indicates that uh, you have started the vehicle. Now, That's for the air conditioning. So it indicates here that uh, we have a 95% charge and uh, a range of 390 kilometers. So this uh, vehicle has logged uh, more than 2,200 uh, kilometers, I believe since uh, it came here. The electric motor is already on. We, we don't hear it, but you hear now is the sound of uh, the fans from uh, the air conditioning system. And you have a small monitor here. You have the distance for the range and then the percentage of uh, the charge. Now it's 96%. Uh, percent. So if you want to put it on drive, just press this down. And then for reverse, then you see the, the monitor uh, and the rear view. So that's the view in front. Uh, now, if you don't like the horizontal position, of uh, the monitor there you can turn it 180 uh, degrees so some people maybe prefer this kind of a slim looking uh, monitor but prefer it the conventional way so there's no obstacle on your uh, view in front you have the parking uh, switch over here so we switch it to the, the parking mode in it, and there's an indicator P and then you also have a pair of uh, map lights uh, here just a slight a very light touch and then you have a pair of uh, visors the cover of the mirror there is also light automatically very nice you have a uh, tray over here for your cell phone. Another tray uh, right here where you can keep the RFID. Another tray here. And then you, you can't open this, but you also have a floating uh, armrest uh, right here. More storage underneath. So yung hindi mo gaano kailangan na gamit, pwede na rito sa ilalim. Also for your uh, cups you can put in two and also drinking water you have a power adapter here and then you have two USB 
outlets very convenient uh, to charge uh, your uh, cell phone or uh, other uh, gadgets. The interior is excellent. Uh, first, uh, you have this very sporty steering wheel. Uh, you have controls for the audio entertainment system. And then you have controls here for uh, your cruise control. So you have this beautiful combination of beige, orange, and black uh, leather. And uh, you have a good uh, headdress, which is not adjustable but it's all right because uh, it looks very sporty and uh, the backrest hugs you at, at the back wow very roomy inside okay if you notice that was my position earlier and now i'm at the back and uh, i still have about 10 inches of leg space so I can move. Okay, this is a well thought out uh, pocket with your phone there and then another full pocket on the second row so while you're charging your phone you can put it here. It's uh, very good. The whole car actually is like a giant uh, power bank. On the Skyway extension, still a very good uh, drive uh, using the BYD Dolphin full electric vehicle. We now have 89% uh, of the charge and uh, with 364 kilometers remaining in the range. This is a very comfortable uh, vehicle to drive. It just takes uh, some time to uh, get used to it because you don't hear any sound of the engine. Even if you uh, accelerate, uh, you don't hear much sound, unlike the conventional engine-powered uh, vehicles. Maybe if you drive this uh, on a daily basis, you, you'll get it. I like it because the power is there. It's uh, Sometimes this is even more powerful than uh, engine-powered uh, vehicles. The ride is very smooth. One thing I like is the monitor, the video monitor right here. Now I have a view of uh, the rear. We're still running at uh, 74 kilometers per hour. Speed limit is 80. And so far this has been a very good ride up to this point. drive you softly long before you miss me Tama na. <laughs> Ganda ng weather. Baka biglang kumula na naman. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it and we would like to thank BYD Philippines for providing us our test vehicle this week. This is the BYD Dolphin full electric car. It's a very good hatch. In fact, we enjoyed uh, driving some 100 kilometers from Quezon City up to here in uh, Batangas. In fact, uh, electric vehicles have been talked about for more than 20 years. Now it's becoming a reality. And uh, I hope that uh, more car manufacturers will come out with their own full electric vehicles. I hope you enjoyed it. would like to invite you also to uh, check our YouTube channel Auto Review Philippines for more of our reviews. Until next week at the same time here on Auto Review Taposi Ron de los Reyes. Thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. 
We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po. This has been another auto review feature. Thank you for watching.